You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And without a hesitation or a pause, a big gulp and oh, hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. You right there, Lee? Mm. Yeah. Bit of a jippy tummy today, Mike. No. What have you been eating? I don't know. Nothing particular. No, nothing particular. No, I'm just no. sensitive. Just sensitive. Mm. Obviously, too much arse. What have you got in, in show? <laughs> what have you got in store for the show, Pisley? Do you know what? I haven't a clue, Mike. I completely got. No, I'll tell you what I've got. News about children's TV programme that's coming back as oh. a film. Oh, that's exciting. But on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. Cud.tv is our website and on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe while you're there. And as people who have shared or liked one of our social media posts, names scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> So I've been having a, a, a meander with the internet. Tiptoe. That's not the tulips. Tiptoe through the Twitter sphere. And Facebook and, and other things. The dark web. The dark web. What is your obsession with the dark web? I don't know. It just sounds mysterious. Or dark. <laughs> and sexy. <laughs> What they do on the dark web. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. No. it's not sexy. No, no. criminal. Um, well, I, I've, I've found some things to share with you. You. Yeah. Um, so you and your partner have been together for some time. Oh, years. Years. Decades. Years and years. Millenniums. Millenniums? <laughs> Millennia. <laughs> Millenniums. Millenniums. Right, Robbie Williams. Um, well, does, do you have things where you kind of do things just to upset each other a little bit? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, what about, so like, inappropriate things? Like what, Mike? So, for instance, have you ever purposely not bought him something? No, not really. No? OK. Well, that means you're a better person than this couple. Oh, well, are they done? Um, because um, a 22-year-old didn't buy her boyfriend a bag of Doritos. Well, end it, end it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's actually addicted to them. Oh, um, okay. And basically, every time she goes out, he's supposed to bring back a bag of Doritos. And didn't this time. And he burst into floods of tears. She's like, you really need to get over it. It's just a bag of crisps. And he's like, going, no, I think we should end it. Well, to be fair, it is a, it is an endable reason. <laughs> Not buying feel. a bag of crisps. Well, if that's what if that is set, is that the precedent of their relationship that every time she leaves the house, she buys him a bag of Doritos. Every time she goes to a shop, she buys. A and bag she of doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Then that's that's breaking the breaking the law, breaking the law. So. Um, <laughs> um, also, why is he not getting his own Doritos? The lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, well, she does the grocery shopping because she likes to try cooking with new ingredients, is the, the answer that she Is he a man-child that just eats Doritos and goes, I want my new minion? Pretty much, yeah. Um, oh. and, and the thing is, he, he eats the cool original. I don't mind those. Uh, cool original's fine, but all the flavours are available. Try but them. Are there? Yeah. I don't know if it was like cheesy. Cool. Cool and cheese and spicy. And the spicy ones, yeah. And that's it. And then you've got the Russian roulette one with like the different flavours. I in. don't like a spicy Dorito. Do you not? You don't no. like spicy, do you? No. 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 Yeah. So, uh, so have, have they ended their relationship then? They're still together. Oh. They, they just have arguments about it quite a lot. I, I think I would be ending it her. Her. <laughs> It'd be yeah, ending her. Say, that, it's <laughs> enough, that. I bet he's got funky sp <laughs> I bet all those Doritos make it Unpleasant. <laughs> Crispy. <laughs> Orange. No, no, look, it's the cool original, not the cheesy ones. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. It's not like you're going to go down there and go, ooh, cheesy Doritos. Mm, you are or you eat. <laughs> That's why I'm a massive cock. <laughs> also known as an arsehole. You are, yes. <laughs> um, anyway, you're, you're, you're a big fashionista, aren't you? Clearly. Yes. I mean, you, you won't see this on the catwalks of Milan for... For Ever. many reasons. Never, never, <laughs> um, never. More than like a five year old child, usually at a party. That's where I take my influences <laughs> from. <laughs> um, well, a new winter fashion has been announced. Oh, another one. Yes, which I think you'll be on board with. Mm. Okay. And that is crocheted trousers for gentlemen. For gentlemen? For gentlemen. What if you're just a whore? 
know if you want to wear those as well. Oh, wear they're, well. they're attractive. I know, I know. The gentlemen are, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what, what do you think of those? I do not like them. You do not like them? No. I do, I do not like the aesthetic. What, what about if we, we showed you this pair? What about that as an outfit? That's just hideous. Asymmetrical. It, well, it's it's very it any better. It's very 2000 steps meets your grand. <laughs> it's, I mean, why? No. If you want, if you want a Jesus lookalike in some badly crocheted pants I think that's actually very well crocheted. Do you? That, that's, I don't think it's pretty. No. But the, the skill behind it is good. Maybe Tom Daly started to do that. Quite possibly. You could buy one of his little packs. <laughs> for some, um, <laughs> for some crocheted pants. They might, they can't be warm because there's holes, holes in, in them. It. Yeah, they are. The, mm. there's, um, there's some, but they're, they're also walking around with no tops on. So yeah, so not, it's it's just all it's all smoke and mirrors, isn't it? All smoke and mirrors. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's not real. And wool. <laughs> and wool yeah. I mean, to be fair, if I put an order in, they'd have to like decimate New Zealand of all sheep <laughs> to get enough wool <laughs> <laughs> to create a pantaloon. For my and I'm not I'm not I'm not prepared to do that. A I'm not pantaloon. prepared to loon. <laughs> a pantaloon okay. accessory set. Okay. Um and if you've got pantaloons for Lee, um or want to share them on the social media, it's at the Could TV. Now we're gonna to go to our story of the week. How would you like a cup of tea? I don't really like tea. You don't really like tea? No. no. I don't hate on it. But it's I'm not I'm not a I'm not a brew person. Not a brew person. No. No. But no. Does that ruin the segment? No. No. I'll just force you to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, what about a bit of tea and toast in the morning? Yeah, I occasionally will have some tea and toast. But it's more to dunk the toast in rather than to dip. Oh, is that not good? Dunking toast in oh, tea. Oh, it's yummy. Not for long, not till it goes soggy, because that's not pleasant. But just ooh. Buttered toast. Yeah. In tea. Yeah. Right, okay. Has nobody that's, else done that? That's probably the weirdest thing next to what I'm about to talk about. And that is someone that's invented squirty tea. Ooh. So, yeah. This is a tea that you basically, you, it's an aerosol can okay. with tea in it. Ooh. Right? Would you prefer English breakfast or Earl Grey? Oh, Earl Grey. Earl Grey. I prefer Earl Grey too. There you go. That's some Earl Grey for you. Oh, that's not good. It is yet to be discovered. So you've got a mug. And so this is this is actually a British invention. Perfectly brewed and concentrated for teapot quality every time. Are you sure it's not like a douche that it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a tea douche. flavoured? Yes. Um but it what you need to do is one short squirt, mm -hmm. just enough to cover your bottom. Clearly knows me. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Right, because it, it does it without any soggy disposal nuisance. Oh, you see, we'll, so, we'll discuss it when we when we. So yeah, so so give you give it a bit of a squirt into the bottom of your mug. Oh, that's rank, Mike. Okay, you, do, you need to take the tip off. <laughs> oh, it's dribbling already. <laughs> it, it doesn't shake before use. Um, oh, one short. Yeah, so you need to cover the bottom. Okay. Does it smell like tea? It doesn't smell like anything. Okay. And no, then, I will and not squirt <laughs> it in my mouth. <laughs> I'll just add some hot water. I'll be mother. Ugh. Oh, it's cloudy. That's always a good sign for a cup of tea, isn't it? So, yeah, so, um... It looks like piss. It's, it's got... It's definitely got a head, which is a, a new thing for a cup of tea. Let's drink this piss. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. It smells like tea, but it doesn't. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like it. <laughs> it's stale tea. <laughs> I don't like it. That, that's not good. You see, in Britain, we have a tradition of how we make tea. It's made in Britain. Yeah, but this is not right. <laughs> this is not right. This is, this is clearly aimed at the American market, because Americans go, oh my God, cup of tea. Um, this is this is doesn't as bad. ship internationally, does it not? No. Well, this is as bad as that American woman who microwaves who tea. microwave her tea. This yeah, yeah. is not good. Yeah. So this says it's properly brewed teapot quality tea in an instant with no soggy disposal nuisance. No, I don't like it. Ecologically though, not very sound. No. Because you know carbon dioxide filled 
and Talk where did you buy this, this abortion from? Off the internet. <laughs> Gosh. Um, it's it's four pounds a can. Jeez. Are you going to put that in your office break room? No, because no one would touch it. No. 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 It's. I think it's going to go in the bin. I wouldn't put it in the bin. What are you going to do with it? A douche with it? Might do. There you go. <laughs> Two cans. <laughs> Has it got caffeine in it? It's got caffeine in it, yeah. Oh, okay. it's, proper, it's proper tea, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's producer Jay's birthday in a bit. We'll drop it. We'll yeah. Wrap it up, give it him. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We'll just wipe the end. Oh, yeah. I won't even wipe the end. Not even do that. Nice. No, no. Wrap it up. It to him. Stick it in a bottle bag. He'll put anything up his ass, won't he? Yeah. That's all from the buzz this week. Well, sometimes you learn and sometimes you don't. <laughs> yeah. And that's do. that. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, because coming up next, we have Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready as we pop over to Lee with the showbiz news. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Were you a fan of Grange Hill back in the day? Well, no, because we grew up in different decades. Mm. Yeah. Um, by the time I got to watch Grange Hill, it was a bit tight. Oh, sad times for you. Yeah. You missed its heyday. I did, yeah. I loved Grange Hill. Did you really? I did. I bloody <laughs> loved it. Many guys. I loved did. It. So, Grange Hill ran between 1978 and 2008. Uh huh. Um, and it kind of focused on. Stuff that was going on. It, what? Why? It's what? A school called Grange Hill is what it focused on. Focused on stuff that was going on in kids' lives. It okay. wasn't. It was kind of like one of the first kids' TV programs that was a bit gritty and not kind of like Blue Petery, like oh hello. It was kind of oh uh, oh um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So it, it had, wasn't oh uh, hello. It was oh. It was, no. It was. It had stuff around. Um, Teenage sex okay. and teenage pregnancy and drug taking and, and bullying. Sometimes follows teenage sex. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Difficult all, to do all teenage that, pregnancy without the teenage sex. All that good stuff. Yeah. But it's coming back. Oh, yay. So it's coming back as a film. So they're rebooting it as a film. So Phil Redman, who's the guy who wrote it, along yeah. with things like Brookside and lots of other um, sitcoms and programmes of the sort of like 80s and 90s, okay. he, he's, it's going to be rebooted and it's coming back to kind of portray what school life is like now in this decade okay yeah we've got a picture now the gallery were laughing at this because it's in black and white now yep. the program itself was not in black and white was it, not? it was in color okay. always in color but they did but you had a black and white tv so you can watch in color <laughs> is that why it's black they, and white? when they took photos of like cast it was always black uh -huh. and white for some reason okay so um was that off was that common in the 70s yeah. Okay. Wasn't yeah. born. Wasn't yeah, we've got another. We've got another cast photograph okay. in colour, oh, okay. which is perhaps more your gen. No, do you remember those people? No. No. Um, that she was. A, she was the one in the middle there. Oh, she was a bully. Imelda the bully. Oh. Imelda. Imelda the bully. We didn't like her. And then what was her surname not Marcos? No. No, just Imelda. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. So oh, I could go on for uh, ages. So it's Cause... coming there. So um. Casting has not yet been confirmed. Okay. But he's teased that past characters may well come back. Oh. So the guy who played Zamo, who was like one of the famous storylines right. where he became addicted to heroin and eventually died on the television program. Not in real life. He didn't just die. Okay. In life, but his character died. Um, he has expressed an interest in coming back. Now, we've got a picture of him. When he was in Grange Hill as Zamo, yeah. not on drugs there, he was, he was slightly younger. And then on the other okay. side, that's how he looks now. Quick question. Mm -hmm. If he died, how is he going to come back? <laughs> this is a question I <laughs> just, just <laughs> brand new. And he doesn't say any of that. Perhaps he comes back as a ghost. I don't know. This or, is Zamo. Remember, he used to die of, of taking drugs. That he fine. Could, he could come back as, like, the uncle... Of somebody. This is my dead uncle. He died. <laughs> well, he's not dead. He's, he's the uncle of Zamo. Or twin. Something like that. I don't know. I don't think he will be if he's dead. Because he died in a bathroom. Like, like that. Like and Whitney. Then, that what? Like Whitney. No. In a very grungy bathroom. Oh, okay. And then... So, so the difference between him and Whitney <laughs> was money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was very, it was very cutting edge. Um, it also... 
had lots of actors when they were kids who became like really famous actors. Okay. So Michelle Gale, who went on to be in EastEnders uh -huh. and then was a pop star. Yeah. Sean McGuire, who went on to be, he went into EastEnders and then went to Hollywood. Okay. But my favourites mm. were Roland and Janet. So yeah, it's coming back. I'm very excited, very excited about okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next bit of showbiz news. So, Munro Bergdorf, who, to be fair, I'd never really heard of before showbiz news. Okay. She's become the first out trans woman to cover Cosmopolitan UK. Okay, cool. So, um, she's the first trans cover star. We've got a picture of her here on the cover, looking very glamorous. Uh -huh. okay. um, she's an English model, an activist, and she's made history by being the first ever out transgender woman to appear on the cover of Cosmo UK. Mm -hmm. And what she's like saying is, is that she's beyond excited to have the honour. Mm -hmm. um, because what she's saying is, is that when she was a kid, there was nobody around that she could identify with. There were no black trans people that were in the media mm -hmm. that she could identify with. Um, and she's like saying that this is like a massive thing for her. She's 34 years old now. Okay. And she said, it's fantastic that other people similar to myself can like look at this and see that it, you know, you, things get better and mm -hmm. it's awesome. So she's also a 2021 Gay Times Honour of British Community Trailblazer winner. Ooh. Oh. Is yeah. you to say. It is. It is. So what she says is that she's re something that she's really proud of. Mm -hmm. Hopefully somewhere there's a young trans girl looking at this cover thinking, I can do it too, and who I am is not going to hold me back. It's a picture of inside. Now you see... That, I actually quite like that dress. Do you? Although it's a bit toilet rolly. Well, that it looks like th they've gone, oh... Sorry, love, we've forgotten the dress. I know what we can do. It looks like a team building exercise. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. <laughs> T turn your colleague into a mummy. That yeah, kind with of a toilet yeah. Roll, yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah. But, but I know, like it. It's a good look. There's no stains on it or anything. It's, it's quite attractive, you know. I like because if it's toilet paper, it might have like wee stains or poo stains on, things like that. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Okay. It's very pretty. Because you, your, your clothing often comes with peel poo stains. No, no. If it was out of real toilet paper. Right, okay. That was the link I was missing there. <laughs> right, yeah. Not just general piss Just things. generally. <laughs> it's very clean. It's not got piss or poo on it. That's, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Let's not focus on the piss and the shit for her. Her journey. Well done to her. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's... So happy for her. Yeah, so happy for her. Yeah. Still confused about you still not going. About... Yeah. <laughs> We're still not kind of with the dress. Anyway, but good for her. Visibility is fantastic. Good. Now then, there's a man. There's a man. <laughs> there's a man. There's several. Who has been using photographs of celebrities who passed away. Okay. Okay. And he's using the app that you can get on your phone to see what they would look like. Right. If they had not passed away, so they're still alive, and were still alive. Okay. Um, so he's not given his. He's like one of these like mysterious people, basically, because he probably doesn't want to get trolled on, <laughs> online for, for for doing this. Um, and what he says is so sad that some talented celebrities left this world too soon. Left this world. It sounds like <laughs> they kind of got a flight to an, somewhere else. Like, you know what? I've been oh, no, somewhere else. You know, I want to nice leave this, this world. Like, Jupiter. Sounds lovely. The like, spaceship well, yeah. comes down, takes them away. Sounds um, lovely, that. It says, so, <laughs> even when they've passed away for so long, we still think of them. And um, now we get a chance to see what they look like now. So okay. we've got some pictures of them. Okay. We're going to judge whether or not we think that they are good or not. Okay. So, so shall we have the first one? We'll have the first one. Let's see who the first one is. So this <laughs> is Judy Garland. Now, this is what Judy Garland might look like now. <laughs> okay. Didn't, didn't change her clothes in 50 years. She hasn't the dirty cat. No. Um, right, but she's kept the weight off. She's kept the weight she's off. She's kept the weight off. She's gone for a lovely, she's gone for a lovely sort of auburn rinse. Yes. Um, there, you, uh, she looks a lot like Lucille Ball. Could well be, yeah. Yeah. To be fair, I think all he's done is use that out where it just goes age yeah, yeah. and hair colour change. Yeah. That's it. Just add so, some wrinkles. So that's not too... Too bad. No. Let's ha let's have the next one. Who's who? Let's see who we've got. We've got <gasps> next. I love this person. We've got Anna Nicole Smith. I love Anna Nicole Smith. Sadly, passed away in, you know, quite a few years ago now. Yeah. Um, this is what he thinks she could look like now. To be fair, that's not so bad. I, she would have had work done. That's yeah, why. I'm kind of thinking Anna that Nicole would Smith not would be how she looked. No, I think that's how she would look. But do you think? Yeah. How old would she have been now? She, I would probably say she would be in her like late forties, probably early fifties. Have you not researched that already? No, Mike. Is it not on the script? Um, oh yes, it is, Mike. <laughs> um, 
She so how, be... how, old, how old should she be right about now, Lee? So this year she would be 55. 55? And, and Judy Garland would be 100 this year oh. if she was still with us. Like Betty White. Yeah, but Ooh. Betty White's now gone. Yeah. She? She's left this planet as well. She's left this yeah. planet. <laughs> too soon. Um, let's <laughs> well, she, no, no, she lived to 100. She's still 99. She was almost 100. I don't think too soon. I think she was, she was trying for 100. Yeah, she just missed but God was just knocking too loud. Yeah. Let's have another one. Let's see who we've got next um, with 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 the ageing up process. <gasps> oh, my goodness, it's me. But I'm just Benjamin Buttoning. Doesn't work. I tried the age thing, and that's what happened. I was like... Because it's already going, <laughs> can't go older. <laughs> it's, it's like going, please stop taking pictures of walnuts to try and make them look older, sir. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the evidence. What can we say? Uh -huh. Pictures don't lie. Let's have another one. Let's pictures see. don't lie. <laughs> Photoshopped pictures don't lie. Let's let's have another one up. Let's see what happens when we when we oh, hello Santa, it's um it's you, Mike. Where did you get that photo from? It's one that you sent in the um in the in the, in the WhatsApp chat. So uh, I stole it. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking you're giving me in this. You've got a bit of an orb around you. And I've got that's your wings, your angel wings. Um. It's given me granddad out of um, Only Careful. Kills and Horses. You see, the thing I have about this photo is I'm finding white hairs already in my beard. Oh, has, it, has, it, has it kind what? of scared you a bit? No. No? Because my, my, my beard hair is white. It's not grey, it's white. Oh. I am going to look like a sexy Santa. Yeah. Or the old corpse of... I'm not going to look like you. Him that does the fish fingers. Captain Birds. Captain Birds. <laughs> him that does the fish fingers? <laughs> Him that, cooks them. that does the fish fingers. Yeah. You have a thing for Captain Birds, either, don't you? I do, well, they made him sexy, didn't they, for a little bit? Buffed him up a bit, but now they've made him more old again. I don't think people were ready for a sexy finger. <laughs> <laughs> don't think they were ready for a sexy finger. No, they're always ready for a sexy finger, but not necessarily ready for a sexy fish, fish finger. finger. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think... <laughs> that... That's the end of this week's show. It's <laughs> sexy fish finger. Mm. I'm, I'm, on my script it says thank you, Lee. I can't thank him for that. Stick around, because coming up soon we have Game of the Week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Game of no, the Week. No, we're not! You f***ing stop right there. Thank right. you very much. Sweary McSweary face. You said that we would stop doing the game of the week. That was it. No more. No more. No more. Game of the week. All right, Sweary McSweary face. Well, then, since someone doesn't want to do a game, we're going to play with our producer. So let's get producer Jay on and we'll play with him instead. There he is. Bing. It's been a long time since I've been played with by more than one man, so <laughs> make it quick, guys. <laughs> yes. yeah. This week we're going to play Jar of Joy. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very tasteful. It is. Isn't why it? do I have Why do I have a feeling that you've had a hand in this? Always. I've had more than a hand. Haven't that's you? from my That's from my range of of um, hotel hotels. It's from a range <laughs> of hotels. <laughs> right. Okay. So in here we, we've got a, a simple choice. For simple. producer Jay, uh, which is a would you rather? Oh, do you want to stick your hand in and fall? I will indeed. Oh, look at my hand just slips right in because it's so thin. <laughs> Can't get it out now. <laughs> oh, okay, right, okay. So, producer Jay, would you rather burp confetti or fart glitter forever? Forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, it's okay. not a temporary thing. So if I burp confetti, it's just going to go all over everybody. At least like, if I farted glitter, it could be contained. Um, unless you're wearing a jock strap. Un unless I'm wearing a jock strap, yeah, that's true. Um, I'd fart glitter, because then I'd be able to like clip it in my hands and throw it over people and give them baptisms of glitter, I guess. Farty glitter baptisms. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> There's a gap in the market for it somewhere, I guess. A human glitter cannon. That's, that's been that's called worse. Mm. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> Why, what else have you been called? That's the story for another time. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, would you rather that unicorns existed, calm yourself, Lee, 
or mermaids existed. They both do. Well, for starters, I mean, they're both pretty much real creatures, aren't they? Yeah. In, in some very less capacity. You could put a carrot on a horse's head and it becomes a unicorn. Or you could tape a woman's <laughs> legs together and throw her off Salford Keys and then mermaids exist as well. So <laughs> I'd probably go for unicorns just because I'm sure I could ride one to work. You know, just imagine going through Mackie's drive through on a unicorn. So, yeah, unicorns. You shut your <laughs> dirty whore mouth. I, I, I've not put in a carrot, a carrot on, on a, a horse. horse. A stently over the edge. <laughs> on a horse? Well, yeah. A I mean, if you get a white carrot. horse and paint a I carrot with a bit of glitter. with you taping somebody's legs up and throwing them into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Just tape a carrot to its head and ride it off into the sunset. Paint it with a bit of rainbow glitter, sort it. How would you make a unicorn, Lee? Well, they exist, so I don't need to make one. <sighs> they don't exist. They do, Mike. Well, so does the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus, but, you know. Look, look the conversation we're going to have to have now. See, well, there you go. I've opened a can of worms. I've opened a jar of joy, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Just like wait for Lee to <laughs> gently remove his face. <laughs> gently remove my giant man hand wow. from the jar. Your other half's a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is interesting. So, Jay, would you rather have a finger as a tongue or a tongue as a finger? <laughs> Can I have both? No. I feel like Either or. Would <laughs> you rather? Monster. Um... <laughs> and my next question is going to be why? <laughs> Whichever okay. one you'll go for. This is, this is a tricky one. This is trickier than anything else I've been asked today, actually. Um, okay, so I'd go for a tongue for a finger because that way I could just walk up to people and just lick them on the face and freak them out. So like, imagine being stood at the bus stop and somebody's like giving you the eyeball at seven in the morning. I could just go, good morning. Like, you could just lick them now. I could just lick them, but that's, you know, it's just, it wouldn't be safe, you know. They might have to shave on, it might get in my mouth, I'd be like, it's busting. Yeah. Well, you know, COVID restrictions are gone, so. Yeah, to be fair, we're COVID secure, I suppose. Wear and a face if mask. You've got a, if you've got a, 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 um, a tongue as a finger, uh -huh. that opens up more, so you don't have to go in people's faces, you can just... <laughs> <laughs> like if somebody's that like, opens up more you don't what? have to physically go right up to somebody to lick them, you can just True. go... <laughs> right up that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be... Then all... I've only got short arms, though, so I wouldn't be able to... And then... But you've not thought it through. Sticking up your finger, sticking up your bum. It, when you're wiping... Lick and... yourself out. Oh. <laughs> I am not licking... No, no, no. You've drawn... Right, no. Is it one finger that's a tongue, or is it all my fingers that are tongues? No, just one. Do I taste what's on these tongues? I don't know. Well, I, I think don't know, Jay. It hasn't been that specific. It's just we as, need to be you more specific, guys. tongue because... as a finger or a finger as a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> If we've only got one, then that's perfect because I can do everything else with my other hand if you catch me drift. So, yeah, no, I could just walk up to people and just lick them with my finger. Like, woo. But well, what if they taste bad? Then I'd just have to dip my tongue in a glass of fizzy drink or something to get the taste out. Or brush my tongue with a little toothbrush on. There's, there's the man with the fingery tongue. Tongy finger? Tongy finger. Tongy finger. Tongy finger. Oh, niche. Yeah. That's what I was called last night, actually. Let's not. <laughs> okay, right, let's not. It's been a long weekend. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Would you rather squeak when you walk or blow bubbles when you talk? Um, when you walk. So uh, basically, when you talk. would you like to turn song, into Lee? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Lee doesn't blow bubbles when he walks. I have to don't know, though. <laughs> um, Always wearing pants. <laughs> Always got a wet patch. Are the bubbles coming out my mouth? Yes, so when you talk, bubbles come out, okay. or you squeak as you walk. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Sound Effects. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I wanted to know the level of squeak. <laughs> okay, so I already squeak when I walk. Basically, at my normal day job, I was wearing a crap pair of trainers the other week. I know I, I'm really picky about my shoes, but I was wearing some rubbish shoes, and they squeaked, and I was walking through the canteen, and I was like... <laughs> And everybody turned around to look at me. Everyone turned around and watched me leave with my bacon sandwich. I was fuming. They were like, what is this guy? He's like a little mouse eating his cheese. Like, me, 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 me. Straight across the canteen floor. So I'd rather blow bubbles because the embarrassment of that, I just, I couldn't deal with it. I nearly resigned. <laughs> like, I genuinely nearly resigned because everyone was looking at me like, why is this man's trainer squeaking? It's like, right, just get me home. So, so the important question here was bacon sandwich, bacon and sausage? Oh, it had a bit of everything on it. It had cheese slices. Bacon, sausage. I had a bit of fried egg as well. But Maybe that's be... why they were judging you. 
listen, right? I'm a growing man. Leave me alone. I'm still growing. Just saying. Growing up belly, belly, beer belly. Oh. I don't like that one. No, that's not how it works. You don't get to pick and choose. It's boring. You're boring. <laughs> it was boring. There was no <laughs> comedy in there. <laughs> There's no comedy in there. It's your child <laughs> joy. Um, <laughs> okay, Jay. Hello. Would you like, would you rather have the, have skin that changes colour depending on your emotions? Ooh. Or have tattoos that appear on your body depicting what you did yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what would be tattooed on my body is well, not fit for publication. No. Um, I wouldn't. Well, it says on your body, it doesn't say on your arms. Yeah, yeah does it say, yeah, are they visible? Is it across my forehead? Jay, it, it can, can I just say, it doesn't give me that much detail. It <laughs> well, just we need gives to expand on this, guys. We can't, you can't ask me vague <laughs> questions because I'm not having that word tattooed across my forehead. What it's word? It's for you to wrestle with your own mind. To work <laughs> well, I'm out. not. I need to know what word it is you can't. I'm not allowed to say this word. This is a family friendly show, isn't it, guys? You can work it out, it's fine. PG 13. Say it, say it, say it Joe. <laughs> <laughs> not being associated with such disgusting behaviour, thank you. Um, I'm going to go with the tattoos because I did some stuff I was very proud of yesterday. I worked well as part of a team. Oh, um, hey. Like. All right. <laughs> 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 well, let's have one more. <laughs> this is very random. So, Jay, would you rather have just one nipple or two belly buttons? Ooh. That's a choice. Okay, that, that is, is a choice, isn't it? It is a choice because it depends. If I had two belly buttons, would the other one be above, would they be above each other and below each other, Lee? Or would they MJ. be like next to each other? <laughs> it's not that specific. It, no, it, 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 Tell me that. Relevant. Because I nearly had one nipple. This is very relevant. I nearly, I had um, a chest surgery a few years ago and I had an issue and I nearly lost the nipple. Oh, okay. So I could actually technically have only ended up with one nipple. Um, I do have two nipples, everyone at home. I do have two fully functioning nipples. Just to make just make it very clear to you all. Yeah. Jay has um, two nipples. I do have two, uh, more than one, less than three. Um, so I less would. Less than three? Less than, yeah, people have third nipples. Extra nipples. I've got, I've got some in the drawer at home just in case. <laughs> what are they made of? Nipples. <laughs> okay. Human nipples. Oh, not human. No? No, I've got Just pigs. don't go around to Mike's house today. Oh, a couple of guinea pigs. Oh, tiny nipples. Oh, oh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, I'd have, I'd have one nipple, just get it over and done with. One large nipple. One big, one big circular <laughs> nip in the middle of my Like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Just a massive Mike Wazowski nipple in the middle of my chest. <laughs> like, Just a Ooh. super nip. Yeah. That's my new nickname, super nip. Oh, well, I'm turned on now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is slightly concerning. <laughs> well, should we do one more question then? No, I'm sorry. You probed me enough now. No, I'm done. I'm done. You can get off my chair. Oh, well. Stick around, because coming after this break, we've got Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we have some sort of punishment for what we've been doing previously. It's Lee and Crafty Queens. So we're going to make a mouse today. So in front of you, you've got a selection of things. What I would like for you to find first is the corrugated piece of card. Okay. The length of it. Yeah. So take that. Flip it over, okay. and then, with a bit of glue, uh -huh. at one end, put a line of glue. Line of glue. At the end of it. Uh, do, yes. do, 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 do. Okay. And then, oh, wait, well, I've forgotten how slow he is. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you're going to take the other end and fold it over. But you're not going to fold, you're just going to place it so that the two edges meet. Okay. I need to hold that for a second or two. So what you've got is kind of like um, like that. Kind of like uh, that. Like that. I don't know what kind of shape we would call that. There. Could be like a teardrop, maybe. A teardrop. Yeah. Right. So turn teardrop it round so that the straight the, the straight edge is facing you. Okay. Mm hmm. Now then, locate on your table your two large circles of card. Got those? I was just reattaching because I, I let go of it and it, it, it flipped open. I've got my two circles. Okay. Blob of glue on the back of those. 
Okay. And then those are going to go kind of, if I turn mine round like that, kind of towards the back of the loopy bit, the kind of like the teardrop end. All right. Right. Now I'll get you two little circles, little, little circles. coloured circles. Little circles. Little circles. Bit of glue on the back of those. When you've glued those, put them in the middle of your big circles. Your ears. Right, so now you've got, you should have three strips of pink card. I have some strips of pink card, yes. I have three strips of pink card. Okay, so bit of glue in the middle just, of, of one. Bit of glue in the centre. Uh -huh. And then the first one, you're going to put a diagonal across the front. Straight bit. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And you're going to get another one. Yep. Ooh, bit of glue in the middle. Uh -huh. And then put that again. Diagonal like you're making a cross. You want to make it cross. You don't want to make it cross, but you're making a cross. Okay. And then your final one, bit of glue in the middle. And that is going straight across the centre. What do you think these might be? He says in a patronising voice. <laughs> um, a way of using up paper and glue. Oh, okay. So now with those, are, these are whiskers. They're called oh, okay. whiskers. Yeah. You should have a tight. You should have a little shiny pink nose. It's a circle. It's going to be its nose. Okay. Little bit of glue on that. Then in the centre of your whiskers, bit of glue on the back of each of your googly eyes. That googly eyes. Different shaped. Different sizes. I don't know why yours are different shape. Mine are perfectly. But then again, in nature, no, 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 oh. no, no, Mike. Did I tell you to put them there? No, I didn't. Why are you not listening? So why, why would the, oh. the eyes do not go in the ears? Are they ears? Yes. Because before my... you said they were the eyes. No, I didn't. I said they were the ears of the mouse. So the eyes are going just above the nose. You provoke rage, then, Mike. <laughs> I'd make an amazing teacher, wouldn't I? Screaming at people. <laughs> no, you're not listening after what I've said is wrong. And then I'd go over and rip up what they're doing and backhand them and say, get out of my class. You disgust and disappoint me. <laughs> not your sexy time, Lee. <laughs> Are your eyes in situ? They're, they're on, yeah. Okay, right, so now you've got, we've got the last bit we're doing, actually on it is the, is the tail. So you've got a long strip of card. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got some shiny pink, sort of metallic-y material. Uh-huh. Put a line of glue down the middle of the long pink thing. <laughs> and then stick the shiny pink stuff on top, because that's going to okay. be its tail. All right. It's not having a body, this mouse, then. No, it is that, that it is all of its body. That is its body. Okay. Right, I've made the tail. Okay, right. Bit of glue on the end of the tail. One end, whichever end you choose. Okay. And then stick that underneath your mouse and the, 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 the bit that's curved. Okay. You might need to hold it for a second just to get it to adhere. 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 Ooh, adhere. A, d a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Oh my god, that is so cute. So we've actually now made a little ma Oh. Oh my god, it's cute. Right, but what do my seat, Mike? Huh? What do my seat? Um, they actually quite like digested biscuits. Well we're not doing that. We're gonna go with um we're gonna go with cheese. Because a common misconception is that they eat a lot of cheese and they don't. Do they they actually eat savoury things. Um so if you ever want to catch a mouse in a mouse trap, use a bit of biscuit. Okay. I just biscuit and that, that okay. it will run over. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 noms. It realizes it's rat poison. Oh, and then dies. And it dies. So, you, so I have provided you with a little bit of um, air drying clay. This doesn't stick. Just hold it, Mike. It's okay. Then why have we got glue if I just have to hold it? After hold, hold it. Well, till the till the glue goes off. Hold it gently, like you would hold a lover. How do I choke glue? 
you, you might need to put a little bit more glue on it, but you know. Let's, uh, so you you have a little blob of, of yellow stuff, air drain clay. Okay. You've kind of already molded it oh. when you were when you were faffing around before we started recording this. Make a cheese cheese wedge shape. If you, if you wedge. can mold it into a cheese wedge shape. I don't like this stuff. It's a bit polystyrene. -y. It is, and you know it dries, and then it's it's very light. Oh well, that's fascinating. Very light. No, I'm you gonna know what's not light when it's dry. <laughs> I'm going to use the top of my glue to make like little holes in it, like cheese does. Well, not all cheese. No, not all cheese, Mike, but for this one. That is well cute. And then you can just put it at the front. Oh, oh I'll bring mine back a little bit so people can see. Do you want to go with the cheese? Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh. You... <laughs> that is well cute. But you know what? In the, in the, you know when you're having a little, you're having an evening where you're just watching a little bit of television and you're like, oh, I need some treat, I need some snacky treats. Right. You can put your baby bells or your other kind of cheeses inside the body of the mouse. Just have it sat next to you and then just take a little bit of cheese. Oh, ooh, yum, yum. So you want me to put cheese inside a folded piece of paper? Yeah. Do you remember that time when you got me to make a bowl out of a bowl? Well, don't you can use it for other things. You do could... you remember that, Lee? That's I do remember that, man. Make that was a bowl out of a bowl. <laughs> this is less practical than making a bowl out of a bowl. But it's cuter, isn't it? It's cute. It's a little mouse. You could you could put things in it. You could hide things in it that you don't want people to find. That that brings us to the end of this week's Crafty Queen. Thanks. And remember, if you can't get any peen, vagine, or even aubergine, that doesn't sound funny, does it? No. Jay, you said it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this week's Crafty Queens. Remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, but you like a little bit of aubergine. It still doesn't sound funny. It's because you don't think aubergine right. Aubergine rhymes with vagine, but it doesn't. Aubergine, <laughs> peen and aubergine. No, no we're not going to do it. That's the end of Crafty Queens this week. Bye. So we're changing the outro to that, which is if you can't get any friends, be a crafty quens. Where, where's your Egon? It's dropped off. It's all falling to pieces, Mike. Look at that. Who made that? I did. <laughs> what does that tell you? It's just... That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv and, of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and don't have a fall. We'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Look, I can feed clonkers. <gasps> Do it, it's shite. <laughs>